I'm drawn to the program um, because of um, my interest in uh, teaching contemplative wisdom. So there is a, um, becoming quite of a movement in higher education at the, it's just beginning, <laughs> um, wanting to bring contemplative practice back into the university. Um, that with a corporate environment, it's just like in, in healthcare, you, 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 uh, the spirit can be lost. It's the same thing in higher education. So many of the of the compassion practice that we are using here, I'm already using in my classes. Um, and what I'm learning here is how to more skillfully use them. So um, both as a instructor in caring for my students, but also introducing practices to my students that uh, would help them to be more skillfully engaged in the world with the suffering that we're learning about in the, in the classroom. I came this weekend to learn more about how to give other people compassion, but the lesson I learned was that I need to give compassion to myself, that not unlike a bank account, I can't draw from what I don't have. So to be at this workshop, to be here with these people, I really learned that I have to give myself compassion, and more importantly, how to be able to do that so that I can give it to other people. I've heard many times and read where they use the expression to be able to sit in a room with yourself, and it's, it's quite a challenge and to sit in your own skin. Over these last days, I have learned very much to sit in my own skin and explore myself, my fears, my hopes, my anxieties, my confidence, my trust, my faith. And I can tell you that it's been a remarkable experience to be able to learn loving kindness practice, meditation. What I've found most poignant about this about this uh, weekend, the seminar, these teachings, is um, the ability to I, I should say I've become more aware of my ability as a listener, or my <laughs> lack of ability as a listener, and so um, through some of the practices and through some of the teachings and through some of the Methods that we've learned this weekend, I think it's going to make me a much more effective listener, uh, thereby being able to tune in better to my students, being able to tune in, tune in better to my patients, and thereby be a more effective caregiver. My students I work with with autism, um, emotional disturbance, and mental retardation, so. I believe this is uh, just open the door. Maybe putting one foot inside this door, this, this understanding of being more compassionate and being more present. <laughs>